All right, so far we had a look at data binding where the data flow was from the component class to the component template. Any update to the class property, the view gets updated as well. But sometimes to respond to user events, such as mouse clicks or keyboard events, we need the data flow in the other direction as well. That is from the template to the class. So to capture events, we make use of event binding. Let's understand with an example. I'm going to go back to Visual Studio Code and in the template, let's say we have a button with the text greet. When the user clicks on this button, we want to display welcome to code evolution. So we need to listen to the click event on this button. And here is the syntax. Within the opening tag of the element, start with the DOM event you want to listen to. In our example, we want to listen to the click event. Then enclose this event within parentheses. To this, assign the corresponding event handler. And this is nothing but a method in the component class. Let's assign an event handler on click and then define it in the class. So over here, I'm going to type on click. And in this method, we are just going to lock to the console. Welcome to code evolution. So now if we save this and head over to the browser and open the console and click on the greet button, you can see welcome to code evolution. So we are binding to the click event and displaying welcome to code evolution. Now it is also possible to set properties on the mouse click. Let me show you how. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code and I'm going to add a new property. I'm going to call this public greeting and initially I'm going to set this to empty string. And then on the button click, we set this property value. This dot greeting is equal to welcome to code evolution. And then in our template, so right next to the button, we can use interpolation and bind to the greeting property. Now, if you save this and go back to the browser, you can see initially greeting is an empty string. So nothing is displayed, but on button click, we set greeting to welcome to code evolution. And this gets displayed in the view because of interpolation. So we are binding to the click event and then setting the value of a property in the component class. Now, sometimes we might also want information about the event itself. For example, information about the click event. For that, you simply send in a parameter in the event handler. And this parameter is $event. And this is a special variable for Angular. The $event gives you all the information about the DOM event that was raised. So now that we are passing a parameter to the onClick method, let's also add this over here in our method definition. Let's call this event. And instead of logging welcome to code evolution, let's log the event. Now let's go back to the browser. And if you take a look at the console, after I click the greet button, it says it is a mouse event. So click is a mouse event. And if I expand this, you can see all the information about the event that was captured. The X and Y coordinates, the target, the type of the event, for example, click event and so on. And you can use any of these in your application. For example, I can set the greeting to be event dot type. And when we save this, go back to the browser. Once it reloads, I click on greet and you can see that it is a click event. So by using dollar event, you can get access to all the properties of the DOM event. All right. Finally, sometimes when you work with event binding, a separate event handler may not be necessary. For instance, in our example right now, the method body is very small. So you can have this as a template statement right in the HTML itself. So let me add a new button, but this time, instead of assigning an event handler, I'm going to add a template statement. Greeting is equal to welcome Vishwas. So now if we save this and go back to the browser and I click on the second greet button, it says welcome Vishwas. We did not assign a handler to the click event. Instead, we have typed the code to be executed right in the HTML element. 
and it works just fine. Well, that is about event binding. Event binding lets us capture any DOM event and perform some action. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.